What's up everybody, it's the Wizard Lizard here, and today I'm going to show you to tame the Megatherium. Now the Megatherium is just like a giant sloth, basically, it's like a small, like a big sloth. So you, you'll find the Megatherium in the snow biomes, they're quite common there, and in the redwood biomes as well, that's on both the centre and the island. Also on scorched earth, they'll be found like in the middle of the desert area. So let's take the Utah Rannus out and go and tame it, and I'll see you over there. Okay, so I'll knock the um, Megatherium out found in the forest. So he's not a tower using Trank Dark and stuff, he's almost a thing. So he requires like, any type of meat and any berry and honey as well to tame it. And Megalania Kibble, or it, as it's an omnivore so it can take anything. So I'll just use this time now just to give the chance to read out its dossier. So the dossier goes Megatherium formipavor is one of the larger mammals on the island. This is the most shocking because it's essentially a giant sloth if you crossbred it with an elephant and a bear. Because of its size and girth, the Megatherium is com uncommonly resistant to being knocked unconscious. Despite primarily being a herbivore, a typical Megatherium is very intent on consuming the island's many insects. It's particularly adept at removing the insides without damaging much of the cell, maximizing, maximizing extraction of chitin. The otherwise slow and peaceful Megatherium becomes faster and aggressive in the presence of these creatures. So that's what uh, the wild dossier says. So what does the um, domesticated dossier say? Megatherium is an incredibly useful creature to tame, so long as you don't intend to fight with other tribes. Its high resistance to vorpal and attitude towards insects and spiders make it ideal for farming large quantities of chitin from the bugs of the island, or just defending against them. So that's what it is for the um, domestication as well. So our Megatherium is almost tamed, should be all re ready soon. I've already got a perfect name for him. It will be a good name, hopefully. It took me quite a while to knock him out. I had to put the Utahranus on peaceful just to prevent him being killed. So I've got the Utahranus here just for a guard as well, in case there's like, any like Cerebrates or stuff around. Because you know what they're like in the Redwoods. He's actually quite a big creature, to be fair. He's like, really big. Quite, he's got a slow turning factor, though. Like, when I was, if I found out when attacking him, he was really slow. But nevertheless, he did do a bit of damage on me, but not as much when there's bugs around, which I'll show you later. So I'm just going to wait for him to be there now. Should nearly be ready. It can be quite a pain to tame. Right, where we are, we've got him tamed. So I did think of naming him Sid after like, the sloth off Ice Age. Then I thought naming him Steve off my Storm Atronarch, St Steroid Steve. Shout out to him. But I've decided to call him Melvin. I don't know why Melvin, but I think it's a good name because Melvin the Megatherium. So I'll get this guy back to base and I'll see you all there. Okay guys, so we're back at base, the Megatherium got back safely. So I'm just going to show you how to tame, how to craft the saddle. So to learn the saddle you need to be level 52 and it can be found in the smithy. And all you need is 325 hide, 130 fibre, 100 cementing paste and 55 metal ingots. So they are quite an easy resources to find if you can farm it. So you can like farm your cementing paste with your snails or stuff, and like hide and stuff off your other animals. So the saddle should be almost made, I'm sure to say the thing is just down there, the Megatherium. Old Melvin. So here's the saddle, we're going to get him saddled up and ready to go out for battle. Well not battle, but you know, riding. Just going to drop down here. As you can see from over here, the Megatherium, like our it's Calicotherium cousin they can sit down it looks like he's meditating so I'd I'll ju I'll just like to call him Melvin the meditating meg meg Megatherium <laughs> not even I could say it then right so it's getting saddled up and ready for action so your standard controls in there so you just press what the item mount you just got his normal controls so it's LT or L2 to buy attack. This can help res gather resources as well from like dead animals and stuff. Then you have like RT and R2 if you're on PS4, which is just your normal like claw attack. This is very useful for like doing a long range attack as it can reach out to enemies further. But it can also be useful for like gathering stuff from like trees, plants, dead animals and stuff. So I'm just going to show you what it does from, from like plants, it can gather like quite a few berries and fibre and stuff so it's very useful stuff like that. 
So now if there's any any stuff out here we can any like animals we can find out here. Let's go and give it a look and show what the Mega Theorem can do in combat. So I hope you're all liking this series so far. I hope you've all enjoyed it. We'll do the last video tomorrow for the Hesperonis. Then I may be able to show you how to tame no not tame, like use the harpoon gun and the motorboat. Speedboat, because I think they're really good additions to the update as well. So this is like its combat stance. Like the like claw attacks don't really do much damage. As you can see there's no insects around here. So though as you said they don't do a lot of damage on their own. But a build voice attack insects first before going into combat. Because the insects can like once you attack an insect you do like a 250% damage bonus when the on the Megatherium, so it does more damage and stuff. But yeah, that's really all you need to know for the um, Megatherium. I just recommend using it as a tank, so buffing up all its health. As you can use that on raids as like a tank unit, as they've got really high health to begin taming with. But really, that's it. But if you want useful stuff, use them as like a farming animal as well for like chitin, wood, thatch, fiber, berries, and meat. As it's like a versatile animal for stuff like that, so if you're like a farmer or something for like a PvP base or PvE base, just get that down, more building materials and kiting for your, your armor and weapons, and berries for food and that. It's very useful. But yeah, that's really all that's it to know about the Megatherium. I hope you found this guide useful. Please give it a like, share. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Have a nice day.